Thank you and good morning, Your Honour. This is case number IT 955-18T, the prosecutor versus Radovan Karadzic. The trial of former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic on war crimes, including genocide, has resumed. And once again, the world's eyes are on this forgotten corner of the world. Srebrenica, Bosnia. Whoever comes to this city must pass the memorial center in Potocari, dedicated to more than 8,000 Muslim men and boys executed by Bosnian Serb military in 1995. Just across the road are the empty buildings of a former battery factory. In 1995 it was a United Nations base. After Srebrenica fell to the Bosnian Serb army, it became the site of many executions. People say before the war these balconies were full of flowers. Now there are no flowers, nor people. Aisha Begic is one of those who came back. She had lost everything. Her sons, her husband, her home. Now she lives alone in one of many faraway villages in the municipality of Srebrenica. Živi ovdje šest godina. Kad ustanem, pripremim tri bunde na se da se zagrnem, da iziđem ispod Jorgana. Ne mogu da iziđem o zime. Ove naše vlasti šest godina niko, niko nama nije došao iz opštine meni voda da, da kaže kako ti živiš nano. Eto tu da sam živila godinu dana, eto tu da. More than 6,000 houses were destroyed in the war. So far, less than a half have been rebuilt. Takvih zahtjeva mi još imamo 3200. To vam dovoljno govori koliko uh, ova lokalna zajednica ima kapaciteta da popravi toliko stambeni jedinica. The Hajdarević family is one of the lucky few to get a house paid for by UN donations. But the house is all they have. Their oldest daughter, Fahrudina, is 14 years old. Šta je oznao, nikakvog uslova ne imao. Da bi ona imala odjeću o garnarobu, kao neko drugo djeca, sobu ne imao kao neka normalna djeca, da bi to ona, na primjer... Na čemu spavate? Ja spušavam. Nemate kada radite? Ne imam. After the war, nations and international groups pledged to rebuild Srebrenica. But today, 15 years later, no one in this city knows how much money came and where it went. Do tačnih podataka ne može ni čarobnja doći. Opština Srebrenica je nosila samo određeni projekata, recimo koje financira vlada, federacije, državna vlada ili vlada Republike Srpske ili drugog entiteta i tako to su stvari koje mi pratimo kroz instituciju opštine. Postoji mnogo nevladnih organizacija koje to rade ispored. A few international organizations have done some good, be it rebuilding houses or donating sheep, cows or farming tools. But given the state of this region, many locals believe others are commercializing their tragedy for their own profit. Do povratnika to ne dolazi. Mi smo u periodu, odnosno 2007. dok sam ja bio savjetnik načelnika ovde, tražili informaciju pojedinačno od organizacija koje neke egzistiraju, neke ne egzistiraju. Niste dobili? Pa od nekih smo dobili, od nekih nismo. Some of the best known organizations are not even based in the city. Samo njihovo sjedište gdje govori sve. Njihovo bi trebalo sjedište da budi u Srebrenici aby oni malo bolje poradili na tom povratku. U stvari, bolje poradili na novcu koji ide preko njih. 
Right now, Srebrenica is getting a bit of media attention because of a war crimes trial happening on the other side of Europe. But once that is over, will Srebrenica go back into the shadows to slowly die out?